here is the IC station website you can see and uh, this is their product it's a kit actually and that is what it is die audio power amplifier board kit radio speak speaker loudspeaker die kits module 3 watt uh, DC 4.5 to 5 volt with battery case uh, regular price is eight dollar and 35 cents whereas they are giving in promotion that is six dollar and 68 cents uh, so this is the kit here you can see this is a PCB and uh, almost everything they have included in this kit even the cables also the hookup wires everything is included and you can make a very nice amplifier from this unit small amplifier here is a little bit detail they have given and component list uh, this amplifier uh, base is based on uh, PAM uh, 8403 IC uh, so we will complete this kit and I will show you almost all details for this unit. Here is a kit. Uh, this is audio amplifier from IC station. We are going to review and uh, also we will uh, assemble the kit. So here is what is in this box. They have sent it something like this. Here is the speaker you can see. Uh, and of course this speaker is uh, 4 ohm and 3 watt. You can see this is the speaker small size. And here is the kit which is containing all the necessary components for the amplifier here they have given wires uh, two pairs of wires uh, which are for the speakers of course and this side if you will open this box over here we can find another speaker which is of course for the stereo uh, this is the same speaker as this one is okay we will keep them side because later on we will use them and here is a cable they have provided the cable is of course here you can see uh, this one is the audio input cable uh, for almost uh, most uh, old standards and here is the USB and the USB is for 5 volt power uh, here you can see these are the wires this is for the USB actually plus and minus and here three wires you can see these are for the audio jack so mm. this is the kit we will keep these items side and here now we are going to uh, come to the circuit part uh, here you can see it's a well designed PCB from IC station they have sent it to me and here is one component we can see this is the main component of this kit which is uh, of course the IC uh, and this is the surface mount you can see and the rest a few components are there which are uh, hole through components uh, are through hole components so these are the through hole components you can see and here are a few capacitors five capacitors uh, five six capacitors are there small and one big capacitor is there smoothing and uh, here is what is the volume control the stereo volume control and the value is B503 which is 50 kilo ohm of course for the stereo and uh, here is the IC uh, which I'm just going to remove it from its, its packing so here we can see this IC is PAM8403 this is the stereo amplifier IC uh, which is a new type of IC you can see uh, maybe some people have used it before but I did not so I will use it in this here it will be mounted uh, the mounting instruction is we will have to mount it in the proper direction which is something like this so this cut is orienting to the pin 1 so pin 1 is over here you can see uh, so this way we will mount it ok so now I am going to do it in a little advanced manner uh, before I was using a regular soldering wire today I have this other product uh, which is uh, soldering paste of course so here we are going to unbox it so it's not yet opened here you can see they have given something a paper manual inside and here is the liquid uh, flux uh, so we will be using these two to make this project and our regular soldering iron I will use I will not use hot air hot air is available actually with me but I'm not going to use because sometimes these ICs can be burnt very easily uh, if we are going to use the hot air so this way we'll just peel it off so here inside you can see uh, there is flux solder something like that is there inside 
so here this one is and we will be using this one so manual way we are using and uh, this one we will remove the stopper from something like that and then from the front we will remove it and from the rear side we will press on and uh, we will bring this paste out so something like this you can see just I brought it a little quantity the rest we will pack so something like this and then we will be making it like this of course the excess we will wipe it because we don't need excess so something like this and then uh, using a wire a small piece of wire what we will do is this is the first technique I am going to use it actually before I did not attempt this one so something like this we will do but it is not I think this experiment will not be enough good which it seems like because for this purpose actually a stencil is used which I don't have in my case right now but okay we will try it anyhow here flies are there actually so please don't comment negatively that flies are there actually flies are disturbing me but they are not disturbing you people here is what I did you can see this uh, without soldering mask even I populated the flux uh, the soldering paste which is this one you can see and now we are going to fix this IC in its place so very carefully and gently we will put it on uh, somewhere like this and then we'll align it like this not a hundred percent alignment is required but up to some extent we should align and then we will try it with our soldering iron how it is behaving so with a hot soldering iron while we are touching it should melt yeah it's doing its job so somewhere like this now we will do it on the other side so the effort has been succeeded what I can see let me complete all and then we will see if it is succeeded so it's perfect you can see with our regular tools just uh, with the soldering iron and whatever this soldering paste I did this job and the job had been successfully done I hope so the actual uh, function we will see while we will populate all the components then I will show you later on while I will populate all the components the rest of the component I mean the assembly is very straightforward something like this we will put the uh, this one the volume control and from this side I will populate all the components and IC will be here uh, so something like this and then later on I will show you the uh, end product result here as you can see everything had been set up the circuit had been completed the two speakers have been have been connected and here is the power you can see this power is coming from this USB cable from here to the unit and now now I am going to uh, play the music actually what I did is I connected this cable uh, using uh, this cable I am connecting my mobile phone here just I am going to show you uh, I am going to play uh, some sort of uh, copyright free music no copyright music so here you can listen it and then we will control the volume and will show you on the speakers as well so here this is and I am going to play
hope you listened this and understood how this amplifier is working this very very much small tiny amplifier uh, as it is in your front small IC uh, it's not heating up even while I'm testing so while putting my hand over here if the speakers are just giving my uh, fingers hum uh, so this is the setup as you saw so IC station products they are good they are nice their projects are nice they are working and uh, they are affordable so if you like this project give a big thumbs up as well as uh, subscribe on my channel and uh, stay tuned share with your friends thank you for watching